Hello everyone, my name is Akerele Oluwa Shugo, popular known, known as Mr. Excel. Today I'll be teaching you how to use VLOOKUP for tax table. Using VLOOKUP for tax tables in Excel. The VLOOKUP formula has a very useful optional operator. If that operator is set to false, the formula will return an error if the value that you search for doesn't show up. If it is set to true, however, it returns the next smallest number. This is a perfect for task table. This is perfect for task tables in Excel. Let's look at this hypothetical task table. Let's look at this our hypothetical task table that we have created in Excel. So these are the income and these are the task rates for each of the income. So it's being prepared in a range. For 30,000 to 39,000, you pay 25 percent at tax rate. 40,000 to 49,000 era, you pay 27 percent as tax rate. 50,000 to 59, you pay 29 percent. 60,000 to 69,000, you pay 32 percent. And 70,000 and above, you pay 35 percent. So let's say you need to calculate, let's say you need to get a tax information for three different people. They are earning three different salary of 37,000, 44,000 error, and 68,000 error. So this means you will need to make the same calculation on three different income. Let's use VLOOKUP to speed up the process. So here we are going to use VLOOKUP to create a tax rate for these three people. So what we are going to do is to type our equal symbol and type VLOOKUP and you open the function. The first argument is your lookup value and your lookup value is the value that you want to return information about. So in this example, say A12 is our lookup value because that's the income amount that you want to get a tax rate. So you click on cell A12, comma. The next argument is your table array. Table array is a table that contains all the information that you are looking for. So all you need to do is to go to the table array that's the range of cell that contain the tax rate that's our range of cells that contain the tax rate is our table array so you select the table array and you lock the table array by pressing your function f4 to make it absolute comma the next argument is our column index number so if you look at it if you look at the task table is two column table is two column table so the number so the number two indicate that we want to one value from the second column return so we are going to use two as our column index number so column index number is the position of the column you want to return back from the table array so we use two which indicate that we want value from the second column returned comma and the last argument is your range lookup is your range lookup so we are going to pick approximate match which tell the formula that you should run down if it doesn't find the exact match that you want to return back it means that it should run down if it doesn't find the exact match that you want to return back so you double click on the approximate match and it will show you true so you press your enter you can see it return back 0.2 which is 25 percent for the person collecting 37,000. so all you need to do is to click back where you have the formula and place your cursor on the auto fee and wage to double click to auto fee for the rest of the formula for the rest of the formula so as you can see the formula returned the proper tax rate for all the three for all the three so multiplying the tax rate by the total income is simple and you get the amount of tax that you owe on each amount. So let's calculate it now to get the amount of tax that you owe on each amount. That will be equal symbol 37,000 multiplied by pressing shift 8. Click back on the, your calculated tax rate and you press enter. So you can copy down the formula for the rest. So that's how to use VLOOKUP to create task table in Excel. My name is Akere Lee 
Oluwa Shogo. Thank you for watching my video.